Welcome back to the channel folks. Got a new knife from Benchmade to review today. This is the Flyway. I got home and I thought, man, I've got a lot of knives. So that begs the question, can a man really have enough knives? That's better. So we'll go over all the specs in just a sec. I'm just gonna talk about where this fits in the hunt class line. So Benchmade have got different series in their knives. So some of the black class knives, the everyday carry knives, stuff like that. This is one of the hunt class knives. So um, I've been a big fan for uh, a lot of the Benchmades on, on particularly out in the field when I go on my venison hunts and my deer hunting. Um, back here at home and at the back of the vehicle, I'm a big fan of the meat crafter. I love my steep country, but I did actually lose my steep country in the bush. That's another story. Um, and I carry this little altitude, this really lightweight little altitude knife. It's usually in my bino rig as um, a backup knife, but more predominantly, it's what I use for all my face caping. So on, um, on the deer, obviously, if we're going to take the cape, you know, we need to remove the face, we need to uh, turn the ears, we need to cut really carefully around the eye and the preorbital gland and um, split the lips. Now, also uh, around the coronet where it can be t quite tough, sometimes you'd even use a screwdriver. This is what I use as opposed to the replaceable blade knife. So uh, I've had the Nest Tucker and I love this little cleaver. I've had that for a long time now and that's been really great. But this guy, where I find this lacks is in purchasing the grip. Uh, this one to me, even though it's marketed as a small game knife, I reckon that this is gonna be my go-to for doing that really fine work. You've got this nice jimping down the front there so you can get a few different grips on it so you can do that really intricate, delicate work. Or you can move back in here and you've got that really nice big profile and get a nice good purchase on there. It's not gonna slip around or get fatigued on those jobs where particularly a face cape, you're there for a while. So the rabbit hunters, small game hunters, bird hunters, particularly the bird hunters, this one's gonna be an absolute favorite. So let's talk steel types real quick, just like the Meat Crafter, um, the Flyway shares the same steel type, CPM 154. Uh, you're gonna get a hardness of around 60 Rockwell. It's got that nice stone wash finish to it. Um, blade style runs all the way through. It's, it's obviously very kind of dagger-like or a stiletto style blade. It's super, super fine point on this one. You've got your jimping up the front, your little risers down the back, which give you a little bit more grip there. Obviously a spot for the lanyard on the back, so perhaps guys might be wanting to use this as a neck knife if they're carrying it around doing a bit of birding or small game varmining. So handle on the flyway, uh, Benchmade have chosen to put a bit of G10 on there, so it's nice and sculptured there. Uh, my hand, I wear a medium sized glove and it fits me perfectly. Guys with the bigger hands, you're probably gonna be okay with a size large. XL, I think you might be pushing it, you might have your little pinky off the back there but um, it's got a really good depth to it and a nice contour you can see there. Um, I really like that shape. It's kind of like a scaled down bushcrafter, so it fits perfect in the hand. Um, I feel very, very confident with that in my hand. Now, a thing to be aware of, some of these knives in the hunt class are coming out with different uh, edge types or edge angles, I should say. So your meat crafters, this new guy, they've got the select edge, some of the hidden canyons. Um, they used to be that 20 degree bevel, now you're getting a 14 degree. So if you've invested in some of the proprietary uh, Benchmade sharpeners or say a workshop, workshop sharpener that has a guide on the front there. So a lot of these are set up with a 20 degree bevel. So you're obviously gonna match that 20 when you come down. Just be aware of that. If you're running one of these, um, you do need to get the 14 degree model. Benchmade are given the Flyway a nice bolter on sheath. We've got dual color there, black on the reverse side. Now bolt, bolter on is uh, very similar to Kydex. It's, it's really rigid, hard wearing. You've got a few little loops there so you could um, mount a, a strap through there or lash it down. And what I like about these sheaths, and a lot of companies don't do this, which is a shame, is um, they put a little drain hole on the back there and some of the other ones they have a little drain poured out the front and that's really handy to get that moisture away from the blade, particularly if you've reordered it or, um, you know, or you haven't put it away dry. The worst thing is the next time you go and pull it out there if you forget to get that totally dry and you pull it out and you've got um, you know, spores on your blade. So it's a really nice touch, it's very thought out. So I think the Flyway really does complement the Hunt line setup from, uh, from Benchmade. Um, it's not gonna kind of be the knife that you're just gonna buy just this one and do everything unless you're predominantly just doing the birds fish, small games, things like that. For someone like me that I do a bit of hunting and, and I do a bit of everything, um, I'm gonna put that into my kit and I'm gonna usually have three knives in my setup. I'm gonna have the, my boning knife back at home for stripping down that meat and, and, and all that meat preparation. 
I'm gonna have my caping knife, the, uh, the face caping knife, etc., and then I'm gonna have my skinning knife, which is uh, at the moment what I've got to replace in the steep country. So when I got this knife home, I had a few realizations. I thought to myself, uh, man, I've got a lot of knives. I like orange things. You might have noticed this one's a first production model, but they are available now and they're starting to filter out through the country. Well, that's another wrap. Uh, just before I go, big shout out to all the supporters and subscribers for the channel. Thanks again. See you out in the bush or on the next review. Catch you later, guys.